the head pins and of late the creative tour de force behind Chrissy Steele. Right now, McLeod is fighting for his life, battling a rare form of cancer. We've reached him by telephone at a cancer clinic in treatment over the last few days. Yeah, uh, they're real aggressive down here, and uh, I just did my first uh, regimen of chemotherapies, which took the last, I guess since last Wednesday through uh, today, I finished. And, and how are you holding um, up? It was, it was rough. Everything was fine for the first few days. Um, and I was sitting here as the, the uh, concert was going on up at 86th Street on uh, Sunday night. And uh, I started to uh, get muscle spasms. And I, I went through this all night long, so I didn't sleep a wink. I think I was walking in the, the shadow of death at one point. I really thought that was it for me. And then uh, that, that was only for a short while, though. And uh, they found the right painkiller to use. What have you learned about the type of cancer you're battling? And in the process, what have you learned about your own ability to cope with it? Well, you know, cancer, if I can say, I know it sounds strange, it's a real good thing. It can teach you a lot about life. And I feel privileged in one way to know a lot of, lot of things that people without a terminal or life-threatening disease uh, would have not have known about. Uh, I've been told they actually didn't use the word terminal, but uh, they did tell me that it looks like they're not going to be able to get rid of my cancer. So what does that mean? It means go home and take care of your, your affairs and uh, give up. No, I'm not going to give up. Um, I'm not going to be any good to anybody dying at this stage. So. What kind of uh, medical action plan have they got in mind for you? And obviously it's not going to come cheaply. What kind of tab is running at this point? <laughs> You're not going to believe this. It costs about 1500 to 2000 a day. A day? Yeah, a day. So obviously the money raised at this past weekend's concert is going to go uh, quite a ways to help out. Told me that it raised a little over 50000 so far. And I mean, I can't believe it. I, was, I, I didn't even, when I did this interview on Much Music for Terry David Mulligan the other day, I realized first that, wow, I'm going to be gone for six months to a year. I'm not going to be able to, to, you know, to write songs or or do what I normally do. So it was a real thrill when I got down here. I heard about, I was only here a day or two, and uh, I heard that the boys were putting this together. And I'll tell you, it just gave me so much power and strength to, to carry on. Well, if they're watching this right now, what would you like to say to all of them? Well, <laughs> I think, uh, I think I've just said it. I mean, you guys have given me so much strength and uh, with God's help, I, I got to come home a winner out of this, and uh, I sh I'm sure I am. Well, we're all hoping and praying that you do. Hang in there, Brian. And thanks very much for talking to us. Thank you very much.